Greetings. I'm calling you through the past, and I'm speaking to you through a vintage 1970 Bell Labs Mod 2 picture phone. Two of these devices are held by the Carnegie Mellon University Libraries, who, in conjunction with the Human Computer Interaction Institute, have refurbished these historic machines to celebrate the 50th anniversary of commercial video conferencing. On June 30th, 1970, the mayor of Pittsburgh spoke with the chairman of Alcoa on the inaugural call uh, in AT&T's offices in downtown Pittsburgh. Good morning, John. You're looking well this morning. <laughs> I'm very pleased and proud, uh, John, uh, to participate with you this morning. AT&T's picture phone system launched to customers the next day, with 38 picture phones at use at eight Pittsburgh companies. The service later expanded to Chicago, New York, Washington, D.C., and other major cities, with some 450 sets in use by 1973. Like many technology firsts, it was not successful commercially. Nonetheless, it marked the first time that video calling moved from demo booths to people's desks and from a concept to practical business tool. This is a device that was intended to be a document camera as well as a video conferencing unit. It's a device intended to transmit images clearly and in as small a package as possible. Although it was too expensive for that era, using sort of the electromechanical uh, kind of state of the art of the age, people recognized the utility in it, especially in the business domain. It laid the foundation for the video conferencing systems that we see today, things like Zoom and Skype and so on.